Today we go over Star Wars Episode 9, the final film of the sequel trilogy. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, as you all know, these past couple of weeks, we've been learning a whole lot more about the final film of this trilogy that will be directed by J.J. Abrams. And quite honestly, I'm very curious as to exactly how J.J. will be wrapping up the entire Skywalker saga and all of the trilogy films alike. Like I say... And how we have learned many times before in the past, this is a movie that J.J. will be using to implement prequel trilogy content and a way to bind all nine movies together in one. Now, we have been learning a whole lot more about this film from all the different concept art descriptions and all the new locations that they are choosing for principal photography, etc. One of the concept art descriptions actually have all to do with Supreme Leader Snoke and Kylo Ren. Now, one of which describes Ben Solo who appears to be younger inside of a hut that is very much like the one on the mysterious planet which had Luke Skywalker's temple before it was burned down. And in case you guys didn't know, Luke Skywalker actually kept the location of that temple a big secret. Now, in the hut, Kylo is kneeling on the floor facing a transparent Snoke just in front of him. This could indicate it's a flashback scene of some sorts around those likes. Snoke's arm is reaching out toward Kylo while Kylo is looking down. Now, I would have to say that this is not a flashback scene. In fact, yeah, yes, in a sense it is, but I think what's really going on here is that you have the capability between Snoke and Kylo, the same exact thing that happened between both Kylo Ren and Rey. Now, this is very much similar to the concept art descriptions that we heard about with Star Wars Episode Eight, involving the binary sunset, which ended up being the death of Luke Skywalker. And quite honestly, you know, the whole Snoke thing, we've heard a lot of rumors, we've heard a lot of talk about Disney and Lucasfilm eyeing in on Ed Harris to portray a younger version of Snoke and apply some de-aging technology to his face. Now, if you look at Ed Harris, I guess he looks like Snoke, I'm not quite sure if they're still going through with that plan, we talked about that about two months ago. Ed Harris as Snoke, I think, would make a good live-action version of Supreme Leader Snoke. Like, the non-CGI version, I could definitely see what they would probably be going for. However, what do you guys feel about Episode 9? Like, how do you guys feel about Episode 9 if it is going to be a lot of flashback sequences? Because from what we have been hearing, it seems like that maybe J.J. is trying to approach this film in a Godfather Part 2 format. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the Godfather Part 2, but essentially, half the movie's flashbacks and the other half is all in the present. And I think that, you know, it would make more sense to go down that route because if you really think about it, when we look at Episode 9, what else is there really to tell besides, you know, a war going on and what's going to happen between Kylo and Rey? Sure, we've heard a lot of things these past couple of weeks that actually sound quite interesting, but I will have to say this, is that if Snoke is to have a scene with Kylo Ren showing us exactly, visually, how Snoke tempted him to the dark side of the Force, I think would be pretty grand to put in a Star Wars movie. It would really show you exactly, you know, how Kylo turned and would add more depth to Kylo's past as Ben Solo. So, looking at everything with Supreme Leader Snoke, though, this is one thing and one thing I have to say right now is that I really feel like that that character grew on me in that movie, and I was kind of upset that they killed him off so fast, because in The Force Awakens, we got him as a hologram, sure. The big mystery, right? The big build-up was, what is he like in the physical form? And then we finally got to see him. Though we didn't really get a whole lot of him again, I really wish that he could have made it out until Episode 9, where maybe even Luke Skywalker lived it out, and then those two characters could interact. And that's another question for sure. Exactly how does Luke Skywalker know Snoke? Now sure, you know, Leia knew of Snoke as well, but who learned of Snoke first? That's a big question, and I think what they should do is that they should apply a new canon piece, a book called Ben Solo, where it tells you the entire history before the events of The Force Awakens and how he turned to the dark side. 
How do you guys feel about that idea? A Ben Solo novel, I think, would be grand. I think it would be amazing to read. I think that is something that I can really find myself picking up at my local Barnes & Noble and reading it up and just enjoying it and talking about it, etc. So, Snoke and Kylo Ren, what I think is happening in the concept art description, whether or not it does make it to the final version of the movie, I think that this all has to do with the Force Bond sequence that Snoke was able to do to Kylo Ren, and Kylo Ren was able to see Snoke from afar while he was training with Luke Skywalker, hence why Luke Skywalker said to Rey, I sensed it building in him. So anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.